Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Charles Sebansi. I want to welcome you guys to another episode of the Dreamers Pro Show, where we cover everything from sports, hot topics, classic debates, entertainment. I want to give you guys a first perspective on things and how we see them. And today, man, we got, I'm just I'm just, I'm just, just so disgusted with these Clippers today, man. Um, but before we get into it, please make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel. I'm already disgusted, to be, to, to be quite honest with you. As you all know, Sundays are our day off. So if you see me, if you see us producing content today, you, you, you just know that something is wrong. Let me, let, let me just say this. I'm, I'm sick of what the Clippers are doing. I really am. They make it hard to root for them. Really. Because some of the things that they do with their excessive load management and punting on games, it is absolutely frustrating. And yesterday, they went out there and lost to the New Orleans Pelicans in a game that they had to win. That they had to win because they punted on the game before against the Memphis Grizzlies by playing Kawhi Leonard for only the first... Let me ask you, when y'all ever seen a basketball player when he play a half of, of a basketball game? Where y'all ever seen that at? Where they do that at? I've ne In 20 years of watching bass, I have never seen something like that. Never. I've seen players have minutes restrictions. Well, they play maybe 10 minutes in the first half and 10 minutes in the second half. I've seen that to be available. and I've seen that. And as a matter of fact, Kawhi Leonard, uh, Leonard did that at the beginning of the season when he came off the bench. I've seen that happen. I've seen that happen. But this right here, I've never seen that. Especially with how important that game was. And it made, after, after the Clippers lost, I said, it made me remember some comments that Stephen A. Smith made about the Clippers about two months ago where he absolutely went off about the Clippers, but more importantly, he went off about the frustration that Ty Lue must experience on a day-to-day -day basis coaching this team. So for those of you who don't remember Stephen A. Smith's comments, take a listen to what Stephen A. Smith had to say about the Clippers just two months ago, and then we'll come back and react to it. We've got about 90 seconds before we send it to New Orleans. Stephen A., give me a quick take. Well, it ain't going to be on Brooklyn and the Pelicans. We already talked about them. Where's my camera at? The Clippers stink. <laughs> what a horrible performance last night versus the Denver Nuggets. I mean, that, I ain't talking about losing by 40. I'm talking about the effort. Lolly gagging around in the third quarter. Ty Lue, if I were him, I... I Go ask Steve Ballmer to let you out and go coach a real team. Damn. They don't want to play, man. They're better than that. I know they're 21 and 19, but they lost four straight. They're better than that. They don't want to play. They just want to be in L.A. It's embarrassing. They don't play about 20 times together in this mm -hmm. last half. Horrible. How are they going to be ready for the playoffs? Horrible. Horrible. I'll tell you this. The Denver Nuggets have built out their roster yes, around the back-to-back -back yes, MVP. Lord. And they have a legitimate chance to not only be the best team in that conference, but Greeny to win the conference. Yeah. Ball Murray is coming. Yes. He's getting He's better got and better. Absolutely. They're deep. The the Mike, absolutely. Not just New Orleans you know, and Memphis. Porter it's Denver Jr. now. Yes. But yes. the Clippers, horrible. <laughs> horrible. So you heard Stephen A. Smith's comments. Now, for those of you who, who think that maybe, oh, he just reaching his no evidence of this. I have the evidence for you. The night that Kawhi Leonard only played one half of that game and the Clippers went out there and lost that game. And some people feel, oh, they're doing this for strategy. Apparently, Ty Lue was so disgusted at the end of the game that a reporter tried to bring up the question to ask him about Kawhi. And he absolutely blew the guy off and it was like, don't even waste my time asking me this silly question. So for those of you who didn't hear that audio, and we're going to put an image up of Ty Lue's face so you can see his face. Take a listen to what Ty Lue had to say and listen very carefully. You will see that he was swearing under his voice, under his breath. Take a listen to that. Man, we are here. I discussed it. I'm not talking about it no more. He already discussed it, man. Um, I thought our turnovers, um, you know, in that second quarter. And then, you know, also, you know, not be able to get stops defensively. Like they were able to score um, easily at will. And a lot of them off our mistakes, just turning the basketball over, inbound the ball, rebound the ball, turn it over, they're getting layups and dunks. And so um, we didn't do a good job with that and handling that. And uh, so they was able to get back in the game. But, you know, we still had a, a great opportunity. Like we was only down four at halftime and they're a good team. They're not number two team in the West for no, for, for no reason. And so we just had to keep our composure and continue to keep playing. And so we knew it was going to make a run. We didn't know it was going to be that fast. But, you know, we put ourselves in a good position. We just didn't do a good job of just finishing the game, you know, taking care of the basketball, taking good shots. I got to go back and watch it. 
Um, but I think I thought a few times over penetrated, didn't make the right pass. I thought our turnovers really hurt us, and then we didn't make some shots as well. So those three things together, a bad combination. So you heard it from the head coach. He was disgusted. No coach goes into an NBA game looking of looking for ways to lose when you have a team that's supposed to be competing for a championship. Some people will say, oh, well, they're angling to play, to, to play the Sacramento Kings. Why are you worried about the Kings? You should be more worried about making sure you don't end up in a playing tournament. You should be more And let me tell y'all something. If the Clippers somehow find a way to get knocked out of the playoffs, if they find a way, number one, it would mean that they did it to themselves. They did it to themselves, and it would be a bigger embarrassment than blowing that 3-1 lead against the day. It would be. Because at least that year, you made it into the playoffs. You made it to the second round. You were at least playing. This right here is unheard of. And at the end of the game, last night after they lost, Ty Lue said, now we just have to win every single game. Why would you put yourself in that type of predicament? But this is what they do. Oh, no, no, don't worry about it, man. We'll get that We'll get that game back later in the season. Don't worry about it. We got that. We got this, man. No, 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 don't worry about it. We good. We good. We're going to get that one. Who are the teams the Clippers are going to be playing to close out this season? The next team that they have on the schedule, they're playing the Lakers. The Lakers, who are a very, very desperate team to make it into the playoffs. Now, I'm picking the Clippers to win that game because they always play well against the Lakers, and I think they beat the Lakers 10 straight times. So I'm going to pick them to win that game. The game against Portland, they may do anything. They may, the Clippers may just go in there and lose that game just for the hell of it. Oh, who knows? Uh, Kawhi Leonard may not play. Oh, ho, 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 ho. What did I just notice? The Clippers. Get Y'all ready for this? Let me show you what these guys are capable of doing. The Clippers are going to be playing the Lakers on the 6th. I believe that's Wednesday. Tuesday and Wednesday. Get this. They play Portland on Thursday, on Saturday. Saturday is the 8th. But guess what? They play against the Phoenix Suns on Sunday the 9th. How much you want to bet? How much do you want to bet that somewhere in all of this, there's going to be some type of load management? And if that happens, man, and the Clippers make it into the play-in tournament, I'm done. I'm done. I'm sorry. I'm a Kobe Bryant fan, bro. I'm a Kobe Bryant fan. I'm a Michael Jordan fan. We don't, we don't rock out with that. I don't rock out with this, man. I don't. I don't. I'm a Kobe fan. I'm not with all of this. This almost cussed. This is, it is a garbage product to watch at this point. At least this particular one. I'm sorry. I'm a Kobe fan. I'm not with all of this. The only reason Kawhi Leonard is my favorite player is because he plays a similar style as Kobe and Jordan. That's it. I'm not with all of these intangibles, man. I'm sick of it. I'm really sick of it. I really am. What is all of this? And, and I got to ask the question. What exactly did they accomplish by sitting Kawhi that game, playing him in the first half, and then going the next game and losing? What was accomplished in all of that? Oh, no, no, we're trying to preserve him. For what? I'm going to be waiting to see. Let's see if they load manage on one. Oh, we're going to play one half. I am sick of it. I am sick of it. That's why when they asked Tyler, anybody remind you of Kobe? He said, no. 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 Dumb dudes were dogs. Kobe, Jordan, them, them cats, they playing. I'm just so disgusted, man. I'm so disgusted. Any Clipper fans, you feel a type of way, you can bounce too. I'm not twerking with you. If I'm going to support you and I don't like what you're doing, I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. I'm not with all of this. This is corny. What type of, what, what is this? Where we at with, the, with basketball these days?